All right, you guys are gonna like this. Um, if it works out, we're gonna run across town and uh, check on something. And if it works out, it's gonna be really, really cool. So uh, let's uh, let's go see if we can find what I'm looking for. All right, we are on the hunt for a 12 volt relay switch remote with a bob to be able to remotely open that door on that uh, white elephant, which I know I can get it on Amazon for, you know, 15 bucks or whatever. Um, but I want to get it done now. I'm tired of having to, I just want to be able to open that door and stuff when I, you know, getting in and out. So anyway, I came to uh, Tractor Supply because they said they had one. Now I paid 25 bucks for it, but, it is what it is, and uh, that's just how it's going to have to be. But we're on the hunt for some other stuff, just tinkering around. This is a fuel fuel tank, but man, that'd be a great water tank, wouldn't it, for in the bus? God. I mean, don't get me wrong, plastic's nice, but F plastic. I, I like metal. Now, I, like I said, this is for transfer tank. It's, you know, it's probably for gas, but, I'm, I, you know, I'm sure it's clean. I'm sure you can use whatever you want but that would be the bomb right there and then uh run my lines in there i could actually bolt it down but i'm sure it's not cheap yeah white steel 50 gallon yeah 329 dollars and i don't want to spend that kind of money but um i would like to put something like this on the back of the bus bolted down to be able to put my tools in get them tools out of there Which ones are the straight run? Uh, most of the ones on the other side. They're all straight run, okay. Uh, most of the ones on the other side. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So you know me. I may have to pull the plug and get a couple of couple of little chicks here to get me have my chickens. I just may have to do it. And I like these little uh these little Easter eggers are kind of cute instead of just the plain, you know, just a plain white like some. So we might we might grab a couple of them. Just because we've got to. Well, you gotta love, you gotta love good old America, you know, and all their bullsh bull crap. <clears throat> 2004, it's expired. It was recertified in 2017 think is what no 2011 but it's only good for five years after that i've had propane tanks that are 40 years old and they still fill i mean it's just ridiculous but whatever so we'll have to probably buy a, another propane tank or something or switch it i guess do a switch out but i never see anything so silly well it was a disappointment i picked up that unit and uh Come to find out, it was, uh, come to find out it was opened and it was, one of the wires was messed up. So it was the only one they had, so I took it back and uh, they basically was going to throw away defectively, but it was just messed up, you know, um, whatever. So that didn't work out, um, but no big deal. We'll uh, work on down the line, getting another one and try and figure it out. That was the only one they had, in, they had in their stock. I did look at some lights, and I thought about grabbing them, but, you know, of course, they're a little pricey, a little brighter than what I wanted. But anyway, we did move about 15, 16 miles. We're actually over where I uh, used to have the shanty boat, and uh, um, where I spent about a month with the shanty boat, and then I ended up selling the shanty boat in this area. And then I walked across uh, Florida over to St. Augustine with uh, my chickens and my dog. But uh, anyway, so I don't know. We're going to kick around, look around here a little bit. And I think we'll certainly uh, spend the night here. Looks like a pretty chilled uh, place. I think they'll uh, allow me to, to stay here in the parking lot. It's pretty bare here and there's no signs. So we'll give it a whirl. We are just 
a little bit of away away from schooners the famous schooners uh, spring break i imagine that place is just an absolute madhouse um tonight especially being a friday night so so yeah we've got a couple of things to do tomorrow and we'll film some of that um but basically we have uh i want to go to west marine because i'm over in that area back to lowe's to get some stuff um and then probably back to tractor supply to get those chickens but here's the problem with it you gotta hey you gotta take a minimum of four and that's what happened the last time is you had to get four and i don't i four is too many i only want two because it just you know what am i gonna do with four so i don't know i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to sit back and think on that tonight and try to figure this out um you know uh, <laughs> i i don't know how i would uh you know four is just a lot to take on i, I prefer just the two um, but anyway that's that and i looked at some uh, chainsaws and i did look at the echo and the echo is 199 now i could get the husqvarna 14 inch for 199 man i do like husky and i like the steels good saws so um so we're gonna do that uh, look at that tomorrow and you know i really want to head back up but i've been looking in the weather and i looked at my old journals and my old journal or my old things from the past two two years now in a row um you know it, it has it does it doesn't get decent weather or halfway decent till may 1st or into may i looked april 15th last year was we got six inches of snow i do not really want to deal with that um so I don't know you know we may have to see what we can do about hanging some more here and, and stuff now yeah you know we can hang up in some of the rivers and stuff in tennessee or something like that too i mean we could do that but uh so anyway but yeah it's definitely west marine back over checking tractor supply um and there was one other thing oh the lows all of them are right within close distance over here so i can get some of them things uh uh, make it over to some of those and get some of those things uh done i want to get that uh, epoxy stuff and i want to epoxy some of these holes up and stuff um but uh oh and then yeah i could maybe look at getting those lights i don't know maybe a tractor supply um and then uh, wire those in and uh, but they're kind of a little bit more of like a work light floodlight so they really have put out quite a bit of of uh light now i could maybe put them on a dim switch you know but i don't know anyway it's just just thinking i'm just i'm just trying to keep busy with stuff to do i enjoy working on this stuff so all right thanks for subscribing guys peace out and we'll see you guys tomorrow on